Hello everyone, this is Kesh again coming to you with another video. This will be a little bit about my natural hair and well by now you should already notice that my hair is all natural again. Back in February I did big chop number two because um, of some changes that I made in my lifestyle and I just think that my natural hair goes be better with the changes that I have decided to make so that's why I did big chop number two and uh, trust me it was somewhat impulsive well I thought about it for a little bit but I really didn't think that I would be um, I'd have done big chop number two I thought that I would have transitioned but uh, I don't know what happened I just got up the Saturday morning and said all right today is a day and I went to the barber and I let him cut it because I wanted something a little bit different from what I did the first time the first time I just did a regular flat cut this time I wanted something a little bit different so I let the barber give me a somewhat of a tapered cut I will insert some pictures either here or at the end of the video so you can see what my hair looked well my hair going through the different um stages so i'm about five or six months natural now and i'm quite impressed um with the amount of growth that i have so far and i've also been wearing some protective styles between braids weaves and at one point i was wearing a wig um but i feel more comfortable wearing my hair out because of the ease i can easily wash my hair in the middle of the week um put some gel in it or put some moisturizer and gel and oils and that's about it and i can still look decent and go about my day-to-day -day business i'm i've also tried something new with my hair which is a rod set a friend of mine she did a rod set for me and i will insert a picture of that also so you can see what the rod set looked like and just when I say it turned out really nice and because of all these things I am I have fallen in love with my natural hair all over again and it is amazing trust me when I tell you it is amazing I really love my natural hair all right so before I get into any other details about my hair I am going to tell you about the products that I am currently using on wash day well I use quite a bit of products so I have decided to do what I did before which is to separate them into wash day products and also um, styling products but some of the products that I actually have here can actually be used as styling products but I, I've added them to my wash day products because this is what I currently use on the days that I do wash my hair so I have like a schedule um, a wash schedule for my hair so on Sundays I would um, wash it if it needs to be shampooed I shampoo it um, deep condition if it needs to be deep conditioned or hot oil um, I've also added um, on Wednesdays I do co-wash my hair because by then my hair would get a little bit dirty and if I'm using gel sometimes it would get a little bit flaky so on Wednesday I would do my co-wash alright so on the Sunday the products that I normally use the shampoo that I'm currently using and it's about here in the bottom I can feel it as I'm, it's almost finished this is the shampoo that I've been using since I did the big chop which is in Feb January, late January early February so this is the product right here this is the cream of nature professional argan oil sulfate free moisture and shine shampoo so this is what it looks like all right so it says that it is sulfate free which is what i am trying out i'm trying not to use too many products with sulfate silicones and so on in my hair i'm trying at this time to see how it works out even though on my last wash day which was sunday i did wash my hair with um the last bit of shampoo that was left in my aussie moist um shampoo bottle and that one is not sulfate free but i really needed to totally cleanse my hair of everything because my hair was feeling a little bit 
drier than usual and the last time it felt like that when I did one of those cleansing um, shampoos it felt great and it does feel nice now I didn't even think of that before but yes it does feel nice now alright so this is the shampoo that I've been using on Sundays to wash my hair what I like about this product is it says it's a moisture shampoo and it is so right and because of that I think I'm going to buy the conditioner that, that that goes with this product or I'm going to try some more products from this brand um when you lather with this you know normally shampoo makes your hair feel dry this one does not do that at all it's almost as if I can detangle during shampoo, the shampoo process and normally I'm only able to detangle during the conditioner but this right here makes my hair feel soft so that's why I have been using it. I'm not too fond of the scent. I don't know why. Cream of Nature products tend to have scents that I don't like. Well, scents that I don't like. Shampoo, conditioner, and so on. They have a scent that I don't like. But I don't mind because of how my hair feels when I use this product. The conditioner that I have been using is a cheapy but goodie. Trust me, it's very cheap. It's like 200 and something dollars in the wholesale here in um, Kingston. And it is the VO5 Silky Experience Moisturizing Conditioner. This right here, mm, mm, smells like heaven. I really, I really, really like this. Um, I like the scent of it. That's the first reason why I chose that. It, because it's a moisturizing um, conditioner. That's the second reason why I selected this product. But trust me when I say it really gets the job done what i normally do is say i'm in the shower shampoo my hair and i detangle and then i add my conditioner when i add my conditioner i let it sit on my hair for a little while while i do the other things that you normally do in the shower so and then i would rinse it out and let me tell you my hair will feel so soft like I didn't expect that from this product. The reason I bought this product was when my hair was low, I was like, I'm not going to buy um, the Shea Moisture Conditioner to put on what isn't really hair, like not even a half inch of hair. So I wasn't going to buy that. And I bought this and trust me, I am still using it. I think this is like, I don't even know how many bottles I'm on, probably four or five because I go through this thing like, uh, nobody's business but you don't really need to use a lot but i am heavy handed when it comes on to conditioners because my hair is coarse and it is a thick it's both coarse and thick so i tend to want a lot of conditioner in my hair to condition my hair so this product right here is really good even though i think i'm going to get another one to go with it to try just to try another conditioner but this right here is amazing for 200 and probably 60 dollars 260 jamaican dollars it's amazing trust me um when i did big chop number one i used to use the clarifying conditioner by vo5 for my co-wash but this time i was introduced to a product that is made here in jamaica and you can look out for the review for that product coming i recorded that video months ago and i still have not uploaded the video I will try to upload it either right before I upload this video or right after. It's this product right here. It is Herbo Deep Cleansing um, Shampoo Plus Conditioner. And in the review, you will know a lot more about this product. It smells like peppermint and rosemary. I kind of like the scent of this. It's really you know a nice natural light clean scent and this is what i use to co-wash and i've been using it since february and look where i'm at in the bottle like right here this is what is left in there all right and i really 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 like this product and trust me i will be getting me some more of this product because this product is amazing and let me tell you why i say it's amazing it's when i use this i don't need to use any conditioner or anything i just use this I even detangle with this and I just rinse out and my hair is amazing and it gets the job done both clean and moisturizing and what I like about it and I do mention that in the review is when I wash out everything and I am going to like add my other products 
I feel my hair it, it has that peppermint feeling like I don't know it just feels so soothing on the scalp and it is it seems to leave my hair feeling soft like it leaves oils in there but not oils like greasy but oils just to keep it moisturized but this product is really amazing amazing product and not only that i can read everything that's on the label all the things in the ingredients i know what they are amazing all right sorry about that my next product is also from cream of nature and as you can see whoopsie my phone so my next product now yeah let me put that on side my next product is this right here um it's also from the same line as this but well, this one is the leave in conditioner so this is my leave in conditioner i'm not going to tell you that i'm in love with this product um i watched a video with uh, of a young lady who has 4c here like me and she said that she used this when she's moisturizing or whatever so i went ahead and i bought it and that's why i haven't bought a new one I, i'm not sure i'm in love with this product i am in love with the detangler slash leave-in conditioner that i had before which is the talia wajid the great detangler i need to hunt that product down because that product is amazing even on dry hair even though when my hair is dry i normally mist it with this i don't feel like it really moisturizes my hair i don't know mm. but i decided this time around that i'm not going to be a product junkie and buy everything that's on the market i'm going to buy a product and when i buy it unless it is really damaging to my hair or makes my hair feel really dry i'm just going to use it until it's finished and then i move on to something else that's what i said i'm going to do this time hopefully i can keep up and live up to that <laughs> but this product right here i don't think i'll be repurchasing this i don't think i like it that much anywho after i add my leave-in conditioner i normally use my oil and my new favorite 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 oil is coconut oil well, that is from this company or another company i love coconut oil and i love coconut oil for everything i put coconut oil on my skin i put coconut oil on my lips i put coconut oil in my hair and my skin and my hair loves it there's something about coconut oil i don't know if it's me but i think that all right if in the night i put coconut oil on my face the next day my skin just looks so bright i don't know if it's my imagination but i think it it, it just works like it's, it's like a miracle product right here and i also use the coconut oil when i'm doing hot oil treatments i use coconut oil castor oil or a little bit of olive oil and i just put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds and then i add it to my hair and put it in my plastic cap sit around with it like all day and sometimes i rinse it out and sometimes i don't depending on how i'm feeling or what i'm going to do to my hair if it's something that requires me not having much product on my hair i would rinse it out but if it's if I'm just gonna do my, my puff like I'm wearing now, <laughs> I would just leave it on my hair and then I add the gel. It also, when I leave the oils on it, the gel will not does not flake as much as it would if I use that product. Another leave-in conditioner that I forgot to mention, I didn't take it out here today because I'm going to use it in my styling products video, is the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Miracle. That's what it is. Cantu Shea Butter. You know what I'm talking. The Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner that everybody has. All that I use is this right here, which is olive oil. And everybody knows how I feel about olive oil already. Same thing on my skin, hair, and so on. Um, for my other, for my creams now, I use Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I'm almost finished with this one. And my new love is this right here which is the lotta body um coconut and shea oils and you will see this also in my styling video so i won't mention this much and the other thing that i like to use in my hair at any time all right so the final product that i've been using as my cream is shea butter i don't use all three of these at once 
I normally alternate depending on how my hair feels but I've been reaching for this one recently because it's very moisturizing all right I hope you enjoyed this video stay tuned for more hair videos I'll be doing more natural hair tutorials more natural hair care videos and maybe maybe a hair another hair color video so stay tuned for that for that and don't forget to thumbs up like comment share follow me on Instagram and Facebook Thank you for watching.